to Word Hawker. Love Nintendo. <gasps> Super Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy. I can play these games again. I had no other way of doing it. Mario 64, the classic. The very first Mario 3D game that defines all other 3D platformers to this very day. Its legacy as a near per- Nay, to some, a perfect video game will echo throughout the ages. Yeah, looking back though, the camera controls suck and the textures are so awfully blurry stretched across these polygons that it's often a hideous, ugly mess. Especially blown up in an unremastered HD version on the Nintendo Switch, but hey, still better than 95% of platformers releasing now inspired by this one. In Mario 64, you can play as Mario, Luigi, Knuckles, or Kirby. Bowser has kidnapped Peach, and you explore Peach's castle, jumping through secret walls and paintings to find hidden levels with challenges like beating bosses, falling off tracks, solving puzzles, gathering coins, or falling off tracks. Each level has multiple hidden stars for you to find and collect. Finding one kicks you out of the level, but then you're free to jump right back in and try and get the next one if you want. Or, go face plant another wall and find a star somewhere else. Oh, say can you see? It's the freedom of being able to pick and choose which levels you go back to and what order you want to hunt down these tricky little stars. That's the best part of the game and what makes it so addictive. There are some areas that are locked behind having a certain amount of stars or needing a key. So, you, you know, awake your inner Michael Phelps and go out there and gather as much gold as you can. And if one star is proving too difficult, just tell it to get stuffed. Go get a different one instead. That's the best part. You don't need to get every star. I mean, unless your name is Gerard. This beautifully emulated triple pack only hit stores a few days ago. I, I mean, heck, the takedown lawsuit between Nintendo and Nintendo is still raging on as we speak. So suffice it to say, out of all three knockout titles crammed onto this Danny DeVito-sized cartridge, Mario 64 is the one I've spent the least amount of time in so far. I've played and emulated that game so many times since 1996. I, heck, recently I played it two-player co-op with my friend Bob over on Twitch, so I wasn't gagging to restart it immediately. Uh, it was Sunshine and Galaxy I was most excited to space some time out for and dive back into. Space... and Galaxy and then... Never mind. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I wanted to have like a vacational drink with me to best I could find was a Ultra Fiesta Blue Monster Energy. You'll have, not a sponsor, you'll have to forgive me. Alright, so cards on the table. Mario Sunshine is my favorite one of the three because, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the best one. This used to be me. This man who has binge watched every single show he found even a slightly interesting on Netflix, yes. You see, with ExpressVPN, he can easily expand his entertainment selection at the touch of a button. Boom, bam, look at that. Modern Family, Doctor Who, Orphan Black, Sons of Anarchy, How I Met Your Mother, Red Dwarf. I love that show, being an educated man like myself. Not only does he have endless new content to binge on, now that he has ExpressVPN turned on, all his browsing data is secure and private. ExpressVPN keeps his internet service provider from being able to see his browsing history, and none of us want that. And that data isn't at risk of being stolen by internet hackers. There's also some handy tricks you can do with ExpressVPN, like, say, buying games a day early or cheaper from another country. So. Do what I did and get three months free by clicking the link in my description, expressvpn.com forward slash beat-em-ups. Look at him. Sophisticated, educated, handsome. It's the power of ExpressVPN. You see, I love me some good old-fashioned adventuring. And Sunshine feels the most grounded as far as a Mario adventure game goes. Yeah, let, let me explain. Mario 64 is set in one castle. Then you go off into the little mini painting worlds, you know, whatever. And Galaxy is set on a space station where you do a similar thing. You go off into the little mini galaxy, like, planet world things. We'll get to that. I'm on vacation. <laughs> but to me, out of the three games, only Sunshine has that more fully fleshed out world 
world feeling. The game is set on a large tropical vacation island resort called the Isle of Delfino, I think. I'm on vacation. And yeah, there is a lot of warping to other areas as well, but many of them feel like an extension of the Isle with a similar aesthetic and level design. I guess what I'm getting at is that Mario Sunshine feels like one big vacation getaway adventure. Whereas the other two games kind of feel more like a various set of fun puzzles, which is fine. I like adventure. Released way back in the dinosaur age of 2002, nothing fulfilled my 12 year old weekends like staying up all night trying to flip, jump, splash my way on top of a building or somewhere else I probably wasn't supposed to be. I feel like the idea of sunshine came around when Nintendo realized they could make water look really good on the GameCube. So they decided they needed a game that was very wet. They took Mario and they slapped a water pistol on the plumber's back and made sure at least 50% of every level was hydrated. I remember thinking this game looked incredible at the time and for almost 20 long years later, it's still dripping with style. Even when squelching its way into 4K on my TV through the Nintendo Switch dock, I'm just drenched with joy and flushed with excitement as the beautiful visuals flood across my screen. Uh, it just makes me moist. <laughs> okay. No more water puns. And who would have thunk that a water gun would be such an enjoyable mechanic? I mean, nothing says fun like water jet propelled flight and smacking enemies in the face with a steady stream of H2O. Well, that's it. That's it for that one. Let's uh, dry off and uh, blast off into some Mario Galaxy. <laughs> this is Wood, the spaceship Enterprise. We're ready to blast off to Mario Galaxy. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Space, Space, the final, final frontier. frontier. We, we are now, are now talking <laughs> about Mario Galaxy, and I wore my Toy Story shirt because it said Pizza Planet, and I thought, you know, it's perfect. It's probably the only shirt I have that's somewhat space themed, and of course these guys have to go and have neon green faces. I'm sure that's working perfectly on the green screen. Nintendo, Nintendo gamers, gamers around, around the world, world were M.A.D. when Nintendo announced this 3D All-Stars Mario pack. Why so angry, you might ask? Well, because they're Nintendo fans, and I feel like we are all mad about something Nintendo does at least four times a day. Nintendo makes me so mad! But also because what the hell, Nintendo? What, what about Galaxy 2? People were so upset. They started desperately hoping the sequel was hidden on the cartridge and that Nintendo was just keeping it secret until launch and not promote it to make some extra sales and get those fat Mario coins into the bank account. <gasps> That's so nice of Nintendo. <laughs> Typical Nintendo. Giving us free things we didn't even ask for. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, it's fake. Come on, guys. <laughs> of course, when the game finally released and Galaxy 2 was nowhere to be seen, Nintendo fans just settled for what was there and enjoyed these three games for what they are. No, I'm kidding. It'll come later as free DLC. I had not played Mario Galaxy since the Wii, and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more this time around. You know, motion sickness aside. As I said, I don't love the setup of the game, with it feeling more like one home space base and a bunch of little mini puzzle planets you just kind of visit quickly. But I now find myself really appreciating the creative variety of each world and also how, at its core fun, the platforming physics are in Galaxy. This is definitely an aspect I overlooked and took for granted at the time. Being able to full sprint long jump off the side of a planet and have the gravity pull you back in and flip you around to the reverse side, ah, that never gets old. Or planet hopping from one to another. Leaving the gravitational pull of one atmosphere and entering the next is so oddly satisfying. Like watching those weird soap videos on YouTube. I could do it all day. So, uh, 
Bowser stole Peach again, our big surprise there. But this time around, you unlock whole galaxies as you collect stars and grand stars from the world. There's even a new kind of currency, which I don't care for much, but it's fine, called Star Fragments, I think, actually. I never double checked that after writing it in the script. Which you can use in a lot of ways, like feeding fat space creatures or just throwing them at enemies by assaulting your Switch touchscreen. What I have come to appreciate most about Mario Galaxy is that every inch of the game is crammed with something for you to do, explore, or enjoy. Even the cinematic transition between worlds as Mario flies through space. It allows you to waggle your greasy little fingertips all over the Switch screen to collect star fragments as you go. The game is non-stop fun, with no reason to ever get distracted or look away from the screen, or else you might miss something if you do. <sighs> Galaxy also polishes up really nicely. Something that always manages to surprise me is seeing a Wii game in HD. I often forget that the Wii is only like 10-ish years old. So a lot of Wii games were developed in a HD era of gaming on PCs and then taken and smush squished onto the Wii's 480p resolution. The amount of detail you can see on character models in Smash Bros. Brawl just by playing it in HD on an emulator is crazy when you're used to to seeing it run on the Wii. It's like the equivalent of trying to make out fine details on a TV through somebody else's window without your prescription glasses on. So just by flicking that high definition switch, uh, pun not intended, is all you need to see this game and it's full intended glory. I mean, just look at this furry little guy. He looks incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little hairs on him. You can see every detail. Also Rosalina. I mean, come on. Peach who, am I right? Ugh. Yeah, and I know. So many of you came here just to hear me whine and complain about Nintendo. You know that Nintendo had these three ROMs sitting around their office for the last 20 years and decided just to slap them onto a piece of plastic and shovel them out to shelves and charge us full price again for them. But you know what? I, 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 I kind of just, I don't care. And I don't know why I don't care. I just, I don't, I'm just happy that Nintendo gave me these games again on my Switch. Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's the fact that these games are so great they really shouldn't be messed with in any way. In fact, Sunshine and Galaxy both look fantastic even now. I don't need a HD remaster. You know, I, I don't know. Or maybe it's the fact that, again, I really just don't care. But what I do know is, I had a good time today, and this video is over.